Daily, there's about like 300, 300? on average, yeah. Because we use an Excel sheet, and it just like basically tallies them all up. So do you see like a consistent crowd that comes out, or do you see maybe a different face every time? So there are certain students who like do depend on the pantry like on a daily basis. So you would see them like going in every day. Um, but then there are other students who might have like just learned about it and want to like right. see what it's all about. Um, but they don't really have a need for it, or maybe they just want to like stop in and see what's going on or like what we have. Um, but we do have like a group that does come in like mm -hmm. continuously. Um, is there like a popular item that like you know a lot of people get, or is it just get what they can get? Or um, so on Tuesdays and Thursdays we get um, like a donation from I believe Lucky's, and it's okay. like pastries and bread. So there's like a lot of cupcakes and cookies and like sometimes even whole cakes and just like bread as well. Um, people really like to take those because it's not like something you really see a lot. I saw too that um, you guys have like vegetables in there and stuff yeah. too. So it's not just cans that they can get. They can also get like, and that's grown here on campus. So the Arboretum um, donates like the things they grow there. So we do get like a lot of produce too. Limitations on... Um, what what you can't like what not what you can't take but more of like who can't come in who can come in is it open to the public is it only for UCF students um so this is for UCF students okay um mostly because a lot of like the funding and stuff is dedicated to students like SGA donated blazers and only students can check them out because like SGA has like a thing where like if the money we're using goes into like an organization it has to go directly back to students because we're paying for it college homelessness you don't really see it a lot um, it is a small number I think UCF cares actually has like a number I think it's like 100 or so and you don't really know like when you meet people you don't really know if they're homeless or not because they could be like sleeping in their car or like sleeping in a tent but they come and they just look like everyone else um, but I didn't meet one person I won't say their name but um, they was kind of talking about their story and like what they have to go through like right now um, before they were living at a hotel and since it was cheap, but they were living there with kids. And then they had to move outside because she, they couldn't pay like the fee anymore. Um, so they were living like in a tent outside in the woods, um, but they were still attending classes, still trying to get involved around campus. Um, right now they have like a, like a home, uh, but they can only afford to pay the rent. That's why they go to the pantry. So they, they get like all the food they need, all the toiletries they need, all the clothes they need. Um, but if you saw them and you didn't know their story, you wouldn't know they were homeless. You wouldn't know, like...